Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today I want to talk about ChatGPT. Will it replace my job as a software engineer? So ChatGPT is a new natural language processing model that acts as a virtual assistant. So in short summary, it's kind of like Siri on your phone or Google Homes, but way more powerful. So when Google first released the Home Assistant, this is exactly what I thought it would do. But you know, at the time, it's way too early for all these uh, artificial intelligence to be this powerful. And after playing around with it, I, I just re I'm just really impressed by what it can do. So I really like the current state of where this thing is at. And of course, we are very, still very far away from, you know, this thing being even perfect. This really reminds me of, you know, those superhero movies like Iron Man talking to his virtual assistants. Like, it can answer you all the questions, do all the heavy lifting, and then provide you the information you need. Recently, Google also announced like they were doing research on how to come up with an AI that can pretty much write code for them. And knowing software engineers are one of the biggest expenses a company has. Of course, like companies want to look for ways that maybe they can minimize the amount of software engineers they can hire. So I might worry about the job somewhat. So I realized ChatGPT is actually very, very powerful. And I can totally see a lot of companies start implementing it for their internal uses cases, especially if you're working on like microservices. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to come up with like a Redux pattern or come up with the action dispatchers, something like this on the screen. And then you can just update and modify the action and then come up with your own type of variables. And then you can reuse some of these boilerplates so you don't have to actually write up as much of this. Like imagine like right now, a lot of times how I implement some of these are I try to look at the code base to see if there's like an existing pattern. It takes me some time to look up a pattern and the pattern might be very complex. I don't really need know what to start, but now I can come to this virtual assistant dialogue. I can just be like, hey, help me come up with this Redux pattern. Help me come up with the action dispatcher. Like this way, like I can just focus on the actual logic and not worry about how to create something from scratch. And another use cases will be like, hey, now how do I write tests? And uh, ChatGPT is very powerful. It come up with these test cases and how to you can test something, like you can copy paste. Of course, if it's a like, company code, you probably shouldn't because like, you know, they probably they store this type of information you probably don't want to it's similar to stack overflow so a lot of people are asking like will ChatGPT replace google in short no at least not yet but can i see it replace it in the future totally i can see myself asking like for example if google was a chat I can be like, hey Google, like tell me about this, tell me about that. Like I expect it to be more conversational. It's also filled with a lot of advertising. What I do think is the fact that ChatGPT is, doesn't provide you a lot of options. And right now we are living in a world where information is so abundant. So I feel like a lot of people are in a mood of information overload. And for example, if I'm very interested in searching up an issue that I'm facing, and when I search on Stack Overflow or Google, like it shows me like so many different cases. Oh, it shows me like this one matches at 80%. I click into it. It doesn't really do my thing. It's kind of outdated. But now I can paste it and ask ChatGPT directly. It will tell me the answer to my question. And that's it. I don't have to make any judgment. It just tells me the answer. Like, and, and I trust it 100%, which is probably not the smartest thing to do eventually in the future. I think the accuracy, the reliability will even be better. So my worry about my job. Yeah, potentially, like it could definitely help write code more efficiently. I can see how as a software engineer, we can slowly transition into less of writing code, but more so about looking at what these artificial intelligence can come up with and how we can modify it. Cause there are still creative elements that these things are lacking. It's still going to have issue coming up, creating more complex things if it doesn't have all the information it needs. Of course, as it grows and it become more internal focused, like it actually knows the product, it can probably do a lot of these things better. And scalability is also something that we have to think about. Like does this thing always come up with the most efficient ways to do things or does it come up with the short-term solution?
how will it know when to scale? So yeah, I don't think uh, software engineers are going to be replaced anytime soon. And you know, in a world where we don't have to write as much code, we can allocate it to this type of machine. It, it's more like how do we phrase these questions? We have to be very specific about the features, the parameters, the fields, and tell the machine that exactly what we want it to be. So it really becomes how do we communicate effectively so it knows what we need. And after it generates something, now we just put on our hat and do the code review that we already been doing. And we probably just review the code, make a few changes, update it, and bam. Now we can be more efficient at creating features. So I can definitely see this is uh, going to benefit developers a ton. Now when I develop things, I come up with issues, I, I resort to ChatGPT almost immediately. Like I just enjoy the fact that it tells me exactly what I need. I don't have to search through different pages trying to find the information I need. It does all this heavy lifting for me. So that's something that I really enjoy. But something that it doesn't really do well, it might be like if you have so many different options, there are tons of frameworks out there. You may not know exactly which one you should use. If you don't describe all your use cases very well at the beginning, you might not know you need a server side application. You might not know you want to use Firebase until you know Firebase even exists. So it's kind of like how do you know which application to use if you don't already know. So it still requires you to be the driver. So this, I would say this is kind of like the modern day car. You still have to drive it, but hopefully soon enough, it will become more self-driving. So yeah, guys, a few advice. I think ChatGPT is actually great for someone who's also trying to get into software engineering. It could be something that you can use to help yourself practice how to answer certain interview questions. You can ask it, ask ChatGPT to come up with potential solutions to even to your legal questions, how to answer certain questions and what to watch out for. It's actually a very helpful tool and I think you should be use it in complement to Google. Of course, a lot of times there's not a set way to do something. So maybe it's better that you hear multiple opinions and rather than just having one, I guess. I'm actually very excited about this technology and yeah, like, I know right now it's open beta. Hope you, I think eventually they're planning some sort of subscription or like maybe they're gonna charge you. But right now I enjoy it very much. And for a lot of you guys out there, like I think it would be a great resources to take advantage of. If you're in school, like you're already seeing how what this can do to help you solve like mathematics questions. Like this is pretty much so much better than Warframe Alpha. Like that's something like I used to use. And now it can even help you write code and help you debug. You can copy paste certain issue code and ask it how you can fix it. You can ask how to improve certain things. Like it's just, it's just amazing guys. It's just amazing. Like, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know what you guys want to hear next.